What's up? My name is Brendan McKinley, and I'm the symbol tech at Fleming Island High School. I'm super excited to get started on the 2020 season. If you're thinking about trying out for symbols, or if you're just wondering what symbols is about, I would totally encourage you to check out what we do. Fleming Island has had one of the best symbol lines in the past couple of years, and that's not to toot my own horn, but to toot theirs because they've really done an amazing job. Ever since I've been here, the symbol section has put their all into everything that they do. If you are interested in auditioning for symbols, you don't need symbols at home. I recognize that you probably don't have any and it's totally okay. It's really important instead to think about your body awareness, right? When we play symbols, we have two responsibilities. We have to be really well musically inclined. We also have to be really aware of what we look like visually. We share kind of some elements with the color guard in that sense. We're holding these big metal plates. So it's super important that we all look the same and that we sound the same. So the challenges to symbols are often the visual elements because they're heavy and it's kind of a new, you're kind of using new muscles that you haven't used before. So if you don't have symbols at home, you can still achieve this audition and still challenge yourself without them. If you have plates at home and you want to like strap up plastic plates or you want to cut out cardboard symbols, go for it. It will imitate having symbols on your hands and it's totally worth the effort. Always practice with a mat. If you want to and you feel comfortable enough, you can totally feel free to use a song like I did in the audition videos, but make sure it has a solid tempo and make sure it's not too fast. I also want you to try to get your whole body in the camera frame because it's important to move your feet in time just as much as it's important to move your hands in time. The symbol section isn't necessarily easy and honestly, no section at Fleming Island really is. Everyone puts in as much energy as they can, whether you're center marimba, a rock player, second bass, or a cymbal player. Everybody's put in a spot that where they're gonna do their best is gonna contribute the most to the ensemble. If you're thinking about cymbals as your first, second, or even third choice, feel free to hit me up, ask me any questions if you don't understand anything, and good luck. Can't wait to see you.